So today we're gonna work on the 2011 BMW 328i X5. We're gonna replace the rear brake pad sensor. So this right here. That's the sensor. And that's the port number. All information right here. So we're gonna remove the rim up. Sensor, it's located right here. That's the sensor. So, this sensor here look like somebody just replaced the pad, the brake pad, but they don't put the sensor properly or they break the sensor because they don't have the import. What they look, they put a put a glue on it yep it's a glue on it so see they put a glue on it so we're gonna remove that gonna take right here and we're gonna pop this right here too Just follow the cable and pop the clamp right here. They have a little clamp to hold it. So they push down. So you're able to take it. Oh. Let's keep following. So I have another clip on the back here. There's two white ones. One right here in the front and one on the top of here. So this right here, to remove that, you have to use the tool and stick on there and pull it and the other one there same way stick on there and pull it so you want to remove it okay now you have to remove this 10 millimeter bolt right here and it's another thing on the top and there's a seven millimeter eight millimeter right here on the corner another eight right here it says three eight millimeter and the one two three ten millimeter ten four millimeter I have another one on the top on this side here but what i'm going to do is just remove one two three on this side here and move all three on this side eight millimeter and i'm gonna go to pop this thing out right here and you have another one on the bottom here another eight millimeter right here in the bottom and i'm gonna remove this this cold out all right remove all the bolt like i said one two and then remove all three here this side and another one on the bottom the eight millimeter so now you're gonna pull this one a cover pull it and put it on the top right here so you're able to you're able to see the connection so the connection is right here see take this out take that out now this right here you have to push this little tab right here and let's pull it push the tab and pull it so like that so now i'm gonna pull the new one
think I'd say they mess up when they put the pad right there because you see if you see here they have a little clamp right here so this right here this it can get a signal to the pad so if you mess it up there you're gonna have no signal so the severs brake is gonna stay on all the time I'll make sure make sure the side the connection for your stick in all right so now you're gonna put it back on the spot then make sure it's in there This one here. Put them back in the spot here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean it though. This butt because it's not it's not the right way how they put it in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna clean all this butt right here where they go to. The easy way I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the pad out so I'm able to clean it. So I don't have no problem. When I put the sensor back in the spot, put the rim everything, so I don't get a bad signal to the sensor. All right, I already cleaned the spot and stick on there. So you're just gonna push in there and you're gonna fill it. So another thing I'm gonna explain to you guys here. So 
I got two ways. The one way, you're gonna fill this part here, it's flat. The flat one, you have to be on the side, the back, the caliper. And the one you have a little, a little duct. So like this right here is where it's going because they heat on the, on the, when the brake pads go, go back. So, and they're gonna scrub on the, the rotor. So that's why they turn the sensor out. So get water into the dashboard. You need to replace the, the pad. So now this sensor is bad. So this part here is go to the, on that side, to the pad. So when the pad is go, go bad and get tinted, so they get worn. So that's how to put it. And right, I'm gonna put the thing back in the foot. I'm gonna put all the bolts here to the spot and and then I'm gonna put the rim back in the spot. Now all the cove is in the spot, the bolt, the three eight millimeter, the two ten millimeter, and another one about it. Everything there. And now I'm gonna put the, the rim in the spot. So we will need two computers to raise the severs line to the brake pad. If you don't have the computer to do that, so we have to do go in the trunk because the battery is located on the trunk. Go in the trunk on the on the right side. It does the better location. So we must go right here. Take this out. That's the battery right there. So just take the 10 millimeter, the both side, the, the negative and positive. Let's disconnect both. Take it out and leave like for 30 minutes. The most you can leave is better. So they're gonna clean all the system. So all the light, service light to the computer. They're gonna clean all of them if you don't have the tool. If you have the tool, the scanning tool, so you can do it by the scanning. It should be easy, a lot of easy to do like that. So you don't have to to take the battery, disconnect the battery because when you connect the battery, so some information the car is gonna lose too. So if you have a maintenance service uh, set up on it, you're gonna lose that too. So if you have the, the tool, the scanning tool, it should be easy, but if you don't, you can do it by the battery, disconnect the battery. So that's how to do. If you like the video, please subscribe and thank you for watching.